Hello everyone and welcome to another chapter one read aloud. This month we are going to be reading chapter one of all books written by Hispanic authors to celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. So this first book we're going to read is by Elizabeth Acevedo. It is The Poet X. Xiomara Baptista feels unheard and unable to hide in her Harlem neighborhood. Ever since her body grew into curves, she has learned to let her fists and her fierceness to the talking. But Xiomara has plenty she wants to say, and she pours all her frustration and passion onto the pages of a leather notebook, reciting the words to herself like prayers, especially after she catches feelings for a boy in her bio class named Aman, who her family can never know about. With mommy's determination to force her daughter to obey the laws of the church, Xiomara understands that her thoughts are best kept to herself. So when she is invited to join her school's slam poetry club, she doesn't know how she could ever attend without her mommy finding out, much less speak her words out loud. But still, she can't stop thinking about performing her poems. Because in the face of a world that may not want to hear her, Xiomara refuses to be silent. So the interesting thing about this author is that she's actually of mixed race descent. She's Afro-Dominican. So even though this is not an autobiographical account of her life, a lot of uh, Xiomara's personality features are the same as Elizabeth Acevedo's, uh, including down to the idea of being a slam poet. But again, even though her feelings and her aspirations influence the story, it's not an autobiography. Similar to uh, the crossover, this book is written in verse form, which means it's written kind of like a giant poem, in this case, a giant slam poem. So this is part one, in the beginning was the word. Friday, August 24th, stoop sitting. The summer is made for stoop sitting. And since it's the last week before school starts, Harlem is opening its eyes to September. I scope out this block I've always called home. Watch the old church ladies chancaletas flapping against the pavement. Their mouths letting loose a train of island Spanish as they spread, he said, she said. Keep Papote from down the block as he opens the fire hydrants so the little kids can have a sprinkler to run through. Listening to the honking cabs, panchata blaring from their open windows, uh, complete with basketballs echoing from the little park. Laugh at the viejos, my father not included, finishing their domino tournaments and hard slaps and yells of capicu. I shake my head as even the drug dealers posted up near the building smile more in the summer, their hard scowls softening into glued-eyed stares in the direction of the girls in their summer dresses and short shorts. But I ignore their taunts, enjoy this last bit of freedom, and wait for the long shadows to tell me when Mommy is almost home from work and when it's time to sneak upstairs. So that is the first poem, Stoop Sitting, that is in Poet X. You should definitely read this book. It is a, not only has it won many awards, including the National Book Award, uh, but it has been acclaimed amongst all age groups, not just the young adult crowd. So give it a read. I hope you enjoyed this chapter one read aloud and see you next time.